This is Rocket Jump, a game where instead of moving around with arrow keys, you move around by shooting with rockets. In this game, you basically have to get to the end of the level, and believe me, it is not a good one. Look at that, I just glitched through the floor there. It's hard roasting a game that was made back in Scratch 1.4, so I'm gonna make it myself. So the first thing I did is make the ground, which is just a square, and then the player, which is also a square. Now I'm missing one important piece, which is the gun, just like in the original game. Then I had to write some code that would spawn the bullet and then force the player backwards based upon what direction he was pointing in. And it kinda worked, but the bullets are getting stuck inside of the player. So I stopped collisions with the bullet and then now it worked a little bit better. But it's strange that the bullets are just flying through the ground. So I added an explosion particle and then made those particles spawn when the bullet hits the ground. So now it kind of looks like a rocket now. In the original game, we didn't really have a game over screen. So I made one myself and then I programmed it to show if we go off the screen. So now when touching the ground and then if we don't move anymore, game over. I also tried making the stick man from the game because that was the missing piece. Then I tried adding ragdoll physics, but that came out wrong. And now the player can get pulled under the ground, which I don't want happening. So I first fixed the problem where he wouldn't shoot his gun but now he looks like he's Spider-Man. The problem was that he wasn't balancing. He would just flop onto the ground. So I added collisions onto his limbs and made it so that he knows how to stand up. To make the game a little bit more challenging, I made random coins spawn all around the level so that you had to collect them. While I was doing that, I realized that the stick man looks really bad. So I redrew him and then exported each of the separate limbs into Unity and then I put them back together. And <laughs> now it appears that his arm is now dislocated from the rest of his body. Like right here, just ouch. Like something is definitely going on. So I had a little bit of fun before getting started on the issue, which appears that I didn't parent his limbs right. And now he's jumping around freely. And I actually like this look better than when he's standing up. So I made him stand when he's on the ground and then go wild when he's on the air. The game is pretty overpowered with unlimited ammo. So I added an ammo crate and programmed it so that when you collect it, you get about 20 ammo. So now we can actually get stuck behind with the level. And I also added these new spikes, which are enemies that we have to jump over. So now the game is slow slowly starting to shape together. Now I'm running into a problem where when I press the respawn button, I go behind the level. I couldn't find out the reason for this and even though I had hundreds of errors, there was no place to trace back to. So I had to comb through all of the code that I've written before and then rewrite it to see if it'll work. But nothing I was doing so far was helping at all. So this is the result one hour later and he spawns 30 meters from where he's supposed to. To be honest, I almost gave up programming in this moment. But then I realized it was dependent on my So I found the error. Basically, I didn't even assign this variable. And now, everything works like it's supposed to. Oh, that wasn't any problem at all. Every game has post-processing, so that's what I added next. Even though it's barely noticeable, I think it adds a good effect to our game. I also wanted to try Unity's experimental 2D light system which makes the game have a light. I've done this before, so I thought I could do it myself. So I started messing with the game files and the light was showing up in the scene view, but not in the game. And let me tell you right here, I was worried this was gonna be a repeat of what happened before. But after a couple minutes, it works now. To be honest, and I know I'm not supposed to give my opinion here, but no cap, the game is smooth. The shadows really make it cohesive. And just out of thought, I messed around with the force when we shoot a gun to make it more like a rocket launch. Now it's more like we're shooting a big huge rocket launcher instead of a tiny little pistol. I was enjoying the game more than I was supposed to be coding it. So I put together a quick little logo and then a menu and a play button. Now I coded in the code so the menu actually works. Now again, I got caught off guard and spent way more time playing the game. And since I was making all this other stuff for the game, I thought I could spice it up by adding a tile map for the level. I found a lot of good art online, but I am not the sort of guy who gets copyrighted. But luckily, in my search, I found this free to use environment asset that looks pretty good with my game. But it's looking kind of ugly, so I sliced up the images and then drew them in my game. I also thought the background's looking a bit bland so I added that as well and now I just need to finish up the levels. Also while I was doing that something happened to the player where he's like doing flips. I trained him to balance not be an acrobatic so I'm gonna fix that. For the levels since they spawn procedurally all I need to do is create one clone and then have each clone have its separate level pieces. Now when we spawn that one clone we can choose between those four separate level pieces and then we can have a procedural level. So here's the game so far with our finished art for our power ups, our spikes and all of the stuff in the game. 
I couldn't find really any more ideas to put in here, so if you have any, be sure to post them in the comment section below. Also, if you want to continue to see me working on this game, be sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel.